Copter Pack Superman, Batman The idea of independent flight has long dominated in comics and movies. Until recently, people were limited to just parachutes and wingsuits. Now, however, flight technology has reached a new level thanks to autonomous backpacks. The Copter Pack, unlike other similar devices, runs on electricity rather than fossil fuels. The rechargeable batteries are attached to a rigid backpack frame and power two propellers, each about three feet in diameter. The device is controlled using joysticks located on the armrests. At this time, the manufacturer does not disclose details about how much weight the copter can lift or how long its batteries last. However, it can already be said that the copter pack is a great green alternative to jetpacks. Hyperion Look at this incredible car. You might not immediately understand what it is. Some sort of Tony Stark-esque fantasy technology. It's actually a real hypercar called the Hyperion powered by hydrogen fuel. The car doesn't use lithium-ion batteries which are commonly found in most available electric cars today. Instead, the car is equipped with a hydrogen tank and super capacitors which, unlike batteries, have a small weight and work efficiently in extreme temperatures. The Hyperion has a power output of 1,500 horsepower and weighs less than 2,300 pounds. This allows it to accelerate to 60 miles per hour in 2.2 seconds. The car can be refueled in less than 5 minutes, and a full tank is enough for 1,016 miles. This is much more than any modern electric car available on the market today. The manufacturer plans to produce only 300 of these hypercars. The price of the Hyperion is currently unknown. The World's Highest Jumping Robot The world record for human high jump is 8 feet, while the white-tailed jackrabbit, an animal, can jump up to 16 feet. However, robots have recently been able to reach heights of 100 feet. Scientists from the University of California have developed a device that is three times better than the previous achievement for machines. The device uses a rotary motor and an original spring mechanism, four elastic carbon fibers that are heavily bent with rubber bands and a tension cable. When the tension becomes strong enough, the latch on the upper end of the cable is released. This leads to a sharp weakening of the rubber bands and the robot's upward jump. Currently, scientists are optimizing the robot to make it capable of jumping even higher. Sage Glass Curtains and blinds not only take up valuable space, but also collect dust which can cause allergic reactions. One solution to this problem is smart glass with adjustable shading function, such as sage glass. Such devices not only eliminate the need for curtains and blinds, but also have many other useful properties. They do not let infrared and ultraviolet radiation into the room, which means that the air conditioner will need to be turned on much less frequently. This can save a lot of money on electricity bills in the summer, Special sensors detect the level of illumination and temperature outside the window, and the level of shading of the glass is adjusted accordingly. This parameter can also be manually adjusted from a smartphone or tablet. New Holland T7 As scientists claim, in the next 20 years, methane may increase the global warming process by 80 times more than CO2. The main source of methane emissions is the liquid manure from farms. That is why proper disposal of such waste is extremely important for all humanity. The first step towards this goal was taken by the Dutch company New Holland Agriculture, which presented the T7 tractor, which runs on fuel made from cow manure. The technology for producing such fuel is as follows. Liquid manure is collected in large tanks where it is transformed into biogas with a high content of methane using microorganisms. The resulting gas is purified and converted into biomethane, which can be used as fuel. As for the characteristics of the T7 tractor in terms of power, 
it is no less competitive than its diesel counterparts. Zipline P2 The coronavirus epidemic has forced developers to look for new ways of delivering goods that minimize contact between people. One such development is the P2 Zip Drone from the American company Zipline. Such a device is capable of carrying cargo weighing up to 8 pounds over a distance of up to 10 miles and delivering packages to the customer's doorstep. According to company representatives, the device can cover 10 miles in 10 minutes, which is seven times faster than most existing services. To deliver an order, the P2 Zip hangs at a height of about 300 feet above the desired location and lowers a droid on a rope equipped with a maneuvering engine. Upon reaching the surface, the delivery robot opens the doors of the cargo hatch at the bottom of the body and leaves the package in the designated location. After that, the drone lifts the droid back up. Sticky Once again, let's turn our attention to comic book heroes. This time, we're looking at Spider-Man, or more specifically, a Gecko Man. Stanford University students conducted tests on the sticky wall climbing system. Using adhesive pads on their hands and feet, a 154-pound volunteer was able to climb a glass wall to a height of 12 feet. The sticky construction involves the same principles used by geckos when they move along walls and ceilings. Each glove has 24 adhesive pads with a combined area of 21.7 square inches. At the moment of contact with the surface, the pads are not yet sticky. The adhesive force is generated after a load is applied. To remove the stickiness, it is enough to remove the load. This property of the material allows for attachment and detachment with minimal energy expenditure. Currently, synthetic adhesive pads only work on smooth surfaces such as plastic and glass. But scientists are actively working on improving the design. Roboter Michelangelo spent three years creating his most famous sculpture, the five-meter-tall Statue of David. The sculptor robot Roboter can do it in just a few days. The nearly 13-foot-tall machine carves a block of marble according to a 3D model created with software. The machine can recreate even the defects of the sculpture, including chips, chisel marks, and stains with neurosurgical precision. According to the creators, humanity is entering a new era of sculpture, in which there will be no more defective blanks, stone chips, dull chisels, and plenty of dust. Instead, there will be scanning, point modeling, and impeccable design. However, with a price tag of $310,000, it's unlikely that the robot will replace humans anytime soon in the field of art. Leonardo the idea of a robot that can move along a rope, ride a skateboard, and fly may sound like a concept from science fiction. But such a robot is very real. Leo is a bipedal robot that has motors for stability like a drone. In addition to improving stability while walking on a slack line and during skateboard rides, the steering devices allow the machine to take to the air and fly. The team of creators says that someday Leo will be able to apply his abilities in robotic missions that are difficult for ground or air robots, drones, or humans. The creators did not say when Leo will be available for commercial use or how much it will cost. Humanity is constantly improving technologically and to stay up to date with the latest inventions, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you liked the video, don't forget to like it. See you next time.